Catch, we'll check it up and check it out. Now, we got to figure out who the fuck is over the OVO sweatshop that is signing off on these verses. First, the Channing Tatum line slipped, and we're like, whoa, we need to hire Quentin Miller back immediately because it's obviously the fucking Zumba instructor, Mo G, that's signing off on these bars. But now, no, no, Aubrey, Aubrey, okay? You're the person that made Meat Mill go vegan. You're supposed to know how to deal with red meat, especially beef. Now, um, listen, a song came out today, a song that we have knew were in the pipelines for a while. If you guys don't know, Joe Budden dissed Drake twice. He put out two songs, and he's dissing Drake, right? The reason why he did that is that he kind of felt like Drake's been sneak dissing him. He believes in his heart that on 4 p.m. in Calabasas, because Drake said something about the golden child, and he called him the golden child on his podcast, he thought Drake was referring to him. Now, not only that, there was a snippet that came out months ago of a French Montana song and a Drake song where Drake actually was on the song in the snippet saying, pump, pump, pump it up. Now, that's kind of referring to the big hit by Joe Button that came out in like 2003, right? So a lot of people say, yo, is he dissing Joe Button, right? Now, Joe Button, of course, heard the song throughout the pipelines and throughout the grapevine because the song actually has been out. It's been played at all these little industry uh, pool parties, so it's kind of been out. However, today we got the official version via OVO Radio slash Beat 1. And I'm going to tell y'all this, man. This shit is shake, weight, scrap, paper, music. Now, again, some people are going to say, yo, he's not responding to Joe. Joe actually responded to him. But regardless, I hear these bars and I'm like, Drake, what the fuck are you saying? Now, again, let's keep in mind, right? Drake just randomly put some bars in there about Joe Button, and maybe he has something coming down the pipeline, but in my opinion, after Joe Button dropped two diss songs, which were body slamming his ass, he should have just said, you know what, I'm about to take these little shake weight bars off of this fucking track. I would have took them off! However, he left them on, so once you leave them on, they're open to critique. Now, I'm going to read you some of these lyrics that Drake had on this song. By the way, the song's available on LateNightCreep.com, but this is what Drake said. Drake says, pump, pump, pump it up. She got good head on her, but I pump it up. Obviously, talking about the Pump It Up song, right? I'm not a one-hit wonder. They know all my stuff. You let me turn into that nigga that you almost was. Obviously, again, directly talking to Joe. I done seen a lot of shit. I done been in things. I done never started nothing. I just finished things, right? Kind of talking about, like, you know what I mean? He, he kind of said the same lines, like, comment on the state scheming joint, right? And I'm still off like the man that brought me in this thing. How you out here celebrating like the winning team? No. Calm down, calm down. This shit ain't how you think it is. Take a look around. I'm supposed to be on vacation right now, but I'm home wild and word to DJ Khaled back with another one. I'm steady dropping bombs on your head top. Been that way since I could make your bed rock. I'm on blue it where you can't shop. Bitch, I just rap and it went pop. Next move, better than my last move. Your next move? Oh, shit. You can't even erase your past moves. Took her out once she got attached to him. Ring, ring, click, I'll get back to him. I think he's talking about Tahiri. Okay, we all know Joe Budden was in Times Square on his knees proposing. Tahiri said no. Of course, we saw Tahiri with Drake later on. Okay, basically, Drake probably letting us know he piped her the fuck out. All right? Now, he continued by saying, um... You don't really want the views. You don't really want a snapshot of the things going on with the crew. You don't really want to hear Not Nice Did 13 and did another two for some shit he ain't even do. Last week, Joe Button running in the room. He actually said Button, but, you know, Joe Button running in the room. This week sold 1.2. Yeah, it's a boost around Baby Boy. Yeah, and I know like Taraji, I'm like Baby Boy. And I fuck with Wheezy and I'm Baby's boy. Yeah, we the army better yet the Navy. Boy, okay, maybe uh, referring to his rumored relationship with Rihanna. Now, again, I'm telling y'all the truth, man. Shake, weight, light, you know what I mean? This shit was like a featherweight bar. I just can't really fuck with it. Not in light of what Joe Bun just presented. I'm a big Drake fan, y'all know me. But after I hear actual bars and people actually body Drake on a song, and we could play the relevance game all we want, but if we're going to play the relevance game, I would rather him not respond. It, it, we could play the relevance game like, oh, yeah, you're not even on Drake's radar. That's why he didn't respond. But respond or even, I, I won't call it a response, but leave a bunch of lightweight bars on there to go at Joe Button. This ain't the Drake that I know, man. Drake, tighten this shit up, dog. Listen, you might have to hire Quentin Miller back. We might have to get somebody else back in the fucking sweatshop because whoever in the sweatshop right now, they must be loose off that goose because they signing off on pure fuckery.
Okay? You guys go check out the song. I'm telling you, while it not be a response to Joe, and it might be the initial thing that set it off, it's weak. You got to be honest. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like that. Subscribe to Watch Academics. I want to hear your feedback because mine ain't pretty about this track. By the way, the track is okay. The track is not a whack track. The track is not a whack track. But the fact that he would actually even di- uh, sneak to somebody on a song like that, which is not really meant for, like, a lot of bars, just kind of tells you that Drake just doesn't give a fuck at this point. And also, he probably just thinks, yo, Joe Bun ain't nobody. At least Meek could kind of have an effect on him when Meek was going through it with him because Meek was making some allegations. It was a big thing. With Joe Bun, it's like, bro, I-, I could, like, sing a fucking hook and kill you. Get in the comments. Let me know. I'm out.